what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm talking about several different topics in this video here again today we'll be talking about jeepers creepers reborn we'll be talking about the vhs franchise we'll be talking about the new paramount plus series wolf pack and we'll be talking about scream 6 so just to kick it off with the vhs franchise the VHS franchise will return with a new film in 2023. Many of you are probably familiar, should be familiar with this anthology found footage horror series anyway. Um, because several known horror directors have done great segments from this from this franchise. It was announced yesterday at New York Comic Con, uh, or announced Thursday, I believe, at the New York Comic Con, that the film titled VHS 85 will arrive on Shutter in 2023. Now, the directors involved with this upcoming project include David Bruckner, who we know is behind the recent Hellraiser and The Night House, and the ritual i believe from netflix yes yeah, scott derrickson mike p nelson scott derrickson we know did the black phone he's done sinister you have Gigi guerrero and narasha kermarni now shutter's general manager had this to say about the upcoming films he said since its inception the vhs franchise has been a showcase for both established and emerging horror filmmakers to terrify audiences with innovative takes on the found footage genre following the success of last year's hit vhs 94 and this year's upcoming vhs 99 which actually debuts later this month he said we are totally stoked to take shutter members back to 1985 with a wicked new collection of scares from some of the most some of the most radical horror directors working today this came from again the shutter general manager craig engler i am a fan of this series i cannot wait to see what goes on in this next film and i can't wait to see what goes on in this upcoming one coming out later this month uh we know radio silence has had a hand in this as well and i will say this i haven't talked about this franchise but i will admit that my favorite segment definitely was the succubus i believe that's what it is the succubus from the first original movie and then ratma I believe is also the most recent segment from that last one that came out that was, those are like the two that have stood out for me like ones that are some of my favorites but just to jump into the next topic at hand we also will now talk about wolf pack a series based on ito van belcom i believe is their name's book series and something that at one point i believe was labeled a teen wolf spinoff however at new york comic con and now once before i think it's been stated twice that this this is in its own universe with no connections to teen wolf what's odd is that it was still included during the teen wolf panel and i think they at one point tried to say it had ties to this teen wolf movie that's coming but whatever sarah michelle Gellar, who we know is buffy the vampire slayer and is well-known horror horror uh screen queen sarah michelle Gellar will star as arson investigator Kristen ramsey a highly regarded expert in her field and no stranger to personal loss brought in by authorities to catch the teenage arsonist who started a massive wildfire which way have also led to the reawakening of a supernatural predator terrorizing los angeles this series revolves around a group of teenagers whose lives are forever changed after a california wildfire wildfire awakens a supernatural creature Gala's involvement should obviously be an instant draw since she's no stranger to the supernatural world. The teaser that was released today did seem very promising, so I can't wait to see this series when it debuts. Uh, we got a glimpse of Gala's character in action, that wildfire, and our set of teens that this show will be focusing on. It premieres on Paramount Plus in January of 2023, so that was a nice thing that they released later or yesterday on like friday i think of our first look at wolfpack so we got our first look at wolfpack and i know many of you wanted me to cover this series i will say this i do plan to cover it more in depth i was just waiting to see the very first look of the series and just get a better understanding of what this actually is before i dive into it because if it's connected to teen wolf i would have been lost but it's its own thing based on a separate series so i will be covering this so just to jump into scream six when speaking with Insider recently, star Tony Revolori praised the script for Scream 6 while also admitting he's never seen a Scream movie. Now, some people, they thought that was a problem, and I would say, no, it's not. I'm telling you right now, as well first as some of us may be when it comes to Scream, not all of us are going to benefit from that when it comes time to act if we were chosen. And I'll put myself in there with that. <laughs> if you can act, then go out there and display your talent. I don't care if you haven't seen any of the previous movies. Tony admitted that Mason Gooding convinced him to do the film after the opportunity came to him. He said this when speaking to the insider. He said, it's funny, I've never seen a Scream movie. Maybe I shouldn't have admitted that, but there we go. He also went on to praise the script. He said, it's a really, really fun script, and there are a lot of twists and turns. He said he's excited for people to see this. I will again repeat, it does not matter that he hasn't seen the previous films, because Jasmine Brown hadn't seen the other movies either. So keep that in mind 
when you want to attack him jasmine hadn't seen the movies either it's not about what you have seen it's about what can you get done in this role that you have now been offered if you're a talented actor or actress it doesn't matter this is a job if you are good at the job they want you on board he doesn't need to see anything he needs to read these lines and deliver them very convincingly so last thing we'll talk about is jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers 4 apparently has made over 3.1 million dollars at the box office whoopee for them, for them i guess this is coming from box office mojo but this movie definitely has made more than i was expecting to make also i do want to shout out you real quick kenny an individual who's been messaging me for some time because i want to preface this next thing i by saying Kenny was someone who told me about a lawsuit possibly happening regarding Jeepers Creepers 4 almost a year before I had found proof of it online. And now you have a new rumor for me, Kenny. So, guys, Jeepers Creepers is probably the only franchise where I don't mind talking any and all type of wild rumors of any sort because it's so dead on arrival. So this new new this new rumor might be true. It might not be. But I was told that Kirk D'Amico and Myriad Pictures might have been wanting to do a Jeepers Creepers TV series with Jonathan Brick. But this janky crew behind four has probably like put this on hold while they settle this court case because because victor salva may apparently have also had a hand in this too when he shouldn't have is what i was told now this again if this is true this again adds a lot of weight under myriad pictures is the one who holds the rights to this movie to this ip because of the fact that it is a bit bizarre that they were not involved with jeepers creepers 4 i do also want to add this it's important to remember that at one point jonathan breck had also revealed that the cathedral script did get turned into a tv series like maybe a 10 episode format of sorts jonathan breck revealed that himself i believe shortly after the release of jeepers creepers 3 now if this rumor is true that means that they were probably trying to go ahead with that and i'm told they were trying to get that over to sci-fi which i guess makes sense considering the success of chucky but that's a very new interesting rumor that i was told and we'll see how true this is because i think the lawsuit will start to disclose a lot of truths over time as that site continues to be updated because they don't have another hearing or court case for at this present time until 2024 but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video